Hi guys, so today I'm here to do Remington's three month update and I wish I had a baby here with me but both boys are actually napping right now. I just put Caden down for his nap so I'm gonna get this video done while I have the time and then I will put a clip at the end of Remington after he wakes up. Um, so yeah, he's three months old already. It is going by so fast and even though it's going by fast and he's growing up and getting bigger and hitting new milestones and stuff, it is honestly so much better. Um, I feel like I'm in such a so much of a better place than I was when he was first born because when he was first born, I honestly, I don't know, I felt it was probably just my, all my hormones going crazy and stuff after I had a baby. Um, but after he was born, I felt like I wasn't giving Caden enough attention because Remington was nursing so much and I honestly felt really guilty like I'm not spending enough time with Caden and he's starting to act out and stuff like that and now I just feel like we're in such a better place we have our schedule down and um I have equal time to spend with both boys and I just I know when I can plan things and when I can't and it's just so much easier and we are so much happier now and I'm kind of used to the no sleep um, even though it has gotten a lot better since he was born I'm more used to it now and I feel like my body's more used to it so I can function during the day um, even without coffee I feel like I can still function just fine um, so yeah he is three months old already and yesterday December 2nd he laughed for the first time and I was Oh my gosh, he first did it on the changing table. I was changing him and he always gets really happy when we're changing him. And I don't know because if it's because we have like these colored things above his changing table that he loves to look at, which is like a lot of contrast that makes him happy. I don't know. Or if he just likes being naked, I don't know. But he always gets super happy whenever we change his diaper. And I was um, tickling his neck and he let out a little giggle and my heart seriously melted. And I immediately went and grabbed my camera and I tried to get him to do it again, but no luck. And then um, later that night, I was making funny sounds and stuff. And um, he just started giggling and it wasn't, it wasn't like a ton of giggling, but it was like a for sure laugh. The first time I heard a for sure laugh from Remington, it was so cute. And yeah, that is just like the best thing to hear your baby laugh for the first time is just, it melts your heart all over again. I remember when Caden did it, I was just like so in love and I just always try to make him laugh after that. So yeah, that is one milestone that he hit um, so far yesterday. So that is so exciting. And he still, um, he hates tummy time. I've noticed that he's starting to get a very, very mild little flat spot on the back of his head so now I'm like paranoid I'm like ah oh, we can't let him lay down so much anymore like because he's usually in his bouncer or on his play mat but it's always like where he's laying his head flat so now I'm making sure that I'm holding him um, a lot more and we also got him a bumbo so he can sit up in that so his head's not sitting flat all the time because I definitely don't want that to get more severe because I know if it gets severe enough, they have to like have a helmet and stuff. So I'm definitely trying to prevent that. Um, what else? He is in size two diapers now. I don't know if I updated that last month. I think he, he was in size two diapers when he hit two months, I want to say like right when he hit two months. So I actually had a whole box of Honest Company diapers still that was size one, so I had to call him and send those back and they sent me a whole bunch of size two, which fit him so much better now. And I had someone ask me a question on here whether we were still going to do cloth diapers. And yes, we are. We're just waiting until he fits into the pre-folds, which is about 15 to 16 pounds. We can start putting him into the um, pre-folds and the covers and stuff we have. So I'm thinking by probably five or six months, is when we'll start using the cloth diapers, but up until then, we're just using disposables, which is so much easier right now. As far as nursing's going, still going amazing. I love that I can go like a week without pumping, and I don't even have to worry about my supply at all anymore just because I'm um, breastfeeding on demand, and even though it's on a schedule, it's still on demand. Whenever he wants to eat, he still eats. Um, and I just pump here and there just randomly whenever I want to um, just store a little bit of extra milk in there. And I'm not even sure if we're going to be using that milk because I plan to breastfeed him for a whole 
year or longer and I know breast milk can only stay in the freezer for like six months or something so I might end up donating that milk if it gets close to that time and we haven't used any of it. I mean we might use a little bit if I decide to leave them with my parents or something but other than that we haven't used any of the breast milk that I've saved since he was born. Um, and as far as nursing goes at night he is still up. He was up for the past couple weeks, he was up every two hours still, even during the night. So I was getting up like four times a night, and now he's, the past two nights, it's been about two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes, um, depending. But he is starting to stretch it out a little bit longer, and just that little bit of extra sleep, even 15 minutes can make a huge difference in my mood and how I feel during the day. If I don't get enough sleep and he's up every two hours constantly, I, like, I just feel like I have this huge cloud over me and I'm just I'm just not myself and I'm tired and I don't feel like I can get much done so uh, that and he is still co-sleeping as well um I for a few nights I really tried hard just to wake up feed him and put him back in the co-sleeper and I just found that I got so much less sleep when I did that compared to when um I nursed him just laying in the bed normally he um, I'll nurse him, put him in the co-sleeper for his first stretch of sleep during the night, and then after he wakes up to, after that, I just put him in the bed with us, and I just, um, I just nurse him lying down, I fall back asleep, and he'll unlatch when he's done eating, and he doesn't even need to burp or anything, and he rarely spits up now, which is awesome, because in the beginning he was spitting up a lot, and, um, so yeah, that just makes it so much easier that I can nurse him in the bed, and I know so many people are like, you can't co-sleep, it's not safe, and um, the way we do it, I feel like it's pretty safe. We don't have any like huge fluffy blankets or anything. We have a tight fitted sheet on our bed. Um, we don't put our comforter on him, we just put his own little blanket, so we'll take the comforter um, just off of him and put his blanket on him so he doesn't have like this huge blanket that could, you know, suffocate him. So. I feel like we do it pretty safe and I don't move in my sleep when I'm sleeping next to him. I usually just have my one arm up above his head like underneath my pillow and he's just laying right next to me. So um, that just makes it so much easier so I can get so much more sleep and I notice when I do that when he wakes up in the middle of the night he only nurses for probably like five minutes because he's getting to be a really fast eater. He can eat within like 10 to 15 minutes at the most. So he's a really fast eater and when he's done, he just unlatches, he won't stay latched on. Um, and also when I co-sleep with him, he doesn't like fully wake up because I'm right there. He can just like latch right on. So he's not like what waking up as much as he would if he was like crying and the lights were on and stuff like that. So it's going so much better for us now than it was when he was obviously just born. He is in three month clothes, but he is definitely growing out of those. He's been in three month clothes for about the past month, but they're certainly getting tight on him. So we are gonna go baby shopping. And I'm probably just gonna get six month clothes because they grow so fast and I don't think like getting three to six month, I feel like that's kind of pointless because they're gonna grow out of it so fast anyway. So I think I'm just gonna start buying him six month clothes already that's just crazy to say that because I feel like I just had him like a few days ago it's crazy he is growing so fast and so big he's still my little chunky monkey and I think he's definitely chunkier than Kaden I I don't remember when we have his next appointment I think his next appointments at his four month I think I think that's his next appointment so um he is hitting every milestone um, that he should be so far. He is not rolling over anything yet, which I'm totally fine with. Um, I feel like I'm going to be more nervous about co-sleeping when he can roll over. Um, because on my side of the bed, we just have his co-sleeper on the other side. It's not like pushed up against the wall or anything. So I don't know what we're going to do at that point. But yeah, not rolling over yet, which I don't really expect him to. Caden didn't roll over till he was six months. Hey, so someone just woke up. Are you crying? Um, but yeah, I think the last thing I was going to tell you guys about is our schedule a little bit during the day. Um, in the morning, he'll usually sleep, for, he'll usually eat around 7 a.m. as his last, like, um, night feeding, which isn't really a night feeding, but he'll eat, he eats at 7, and then he'll fall back asleep and get up around... Um, 9.30 or 9 and he'll just 
start talking to himself and um, that's when I can still get a little bit of sleep and he'll just sit in the bed talking to himself for probably a good 10 to 15 minutes and then he'll get a little bit cranky and then it's like he's like mom it's time to get up so after that I come out and get Caden, Caden up and um, take Caden potty and stuff like that and then I'll come out in the living room and nurse Remington and after that feeding he'll usually fall asleep for his short short morning nap which is usually about like 20 minutes and that is just enough time for me to get Caden and myself some breakfast and then we eat breakfast and that's he'll usually wake up again after that and um then we just have like playtime. I'll we'll usually put him on his play mat or put him in the bouncer or talk to him and stuff like that and then during the afternoon usually around when Caden goes down for his nap he'll go down or he might go down a little bit earlier um, I try to put him down a little bit earlier just because we eat lunch and then Caden goes down for his nap around uh, 1.30 and that's when he is usually has his long nap but he's not he's not having a long nap today huh but I put him in his co-sleeper so that's probably why he usually that's probably why he didn't sleep very long because he usually takes his long nap in his bouncer um, and then after that he usually has like one more like 30 40 minute nap in the afternoon and then he goes to bed with us around it his bedtime seriously depends like it, it's different almost every single night last night we didn't go to bed until midnight and he was awake for quite a while before that he usually um can go to bed around 8 39 anywhere up to like 11 or midnight so it really varies his bedtime is pretty pretty random um but other than that during the day it's usually pretty um pretty on track um but yeah that is all for his three month update i really hope i'm not forgetting anything but here he is say hi do do hey what's up here what's up here can you see mama are you gonna be grouchy? You look so sad. Other than that, he is a very, very happy baby. He rarely ever cries. Seriously, barely ever. The only time he really cries is when he is tired. And uh, he has been getting used to nursing to go to sleep, which it makes it so much easier for me because he almost falls asleep instantly as soon as I latch him on. Um, but I know that's not really a good habit if we ever want to like leave or something and someone else is watching him because obviously I'm the only one that can nurse him so um yeah but oh well that's just how we've been getting him to sleep lately huh. say hi say hi say hi guys Alright, so that is all for his three month update. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be four months soon. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!